Hello, my name is Holly Harris, and I am from Beaver, Utah, which is a small town in southern Utah, off of I-15. Growing up there was an amazing experience. I've learned a lot in this class, though, about diversity. I've never thought about half the things we discussed until now. I am glad for the topics that were brought up to my attention. The high school I attended was called Beaver High School. It had one AP class, which was English, a few honor classes, such as history and math, and we could do concurrent enrollment to get our associate's degree through SUU and USU, which was a great opportunity. A lot of general education classes were offered, and a lot of special education programs were there as well, which was super great when I learned about the special education program, which helped me decide to become a special education teacher. Because of the size and location of Beaver, there was little diversity. Although I did go to school with a few Hispanics, and when I was in high school, Thai people started to move in. It was very fun to get together on Monday evenings with them, and we would learn about each other's culture. We got very close. In my town, there was not very many rich people, and there were not very many poor people. A lot of people lived comfortably, although many had free reduced lunch because of the small occupations that kept our little town going. In Beaver, I fit in very well. I got really involved. Many opportunities came to me because of who I was recognized as. I was basically a regular person who did ordinary things and was not told otherwise. A lot of my friends and peers' parents taught at the schools we went to. Even my own parents worked at the elementary school. As a community, we worked together to build a good education program and programs for after school that helped us build our talents to be successful in other things besides education, no purposes. This gave me a solid experience at school because everyone was involved with what I did and they wanted me to be my best and they helped me and my classmates achieve the goals we set. My community had lots of ideas that differed from other schools. An example I can think of is when we had no band because there was nobody capable of teaching it in our town. So we did an orchestra. The orchestra I participated in took state twice. We worked hard to be good and the community supported us because our culture has always been kind of prideful because we aim to do the best in everything we try to do. I used to think that it was because there was a language barrier, other people not from our race would not participate in the activities or sporting events. But now I think it is more because they did not feel welcome to participate because they were not the typical sports player or the nerdy academic that fit in. My school should have been better at accepting those who are not of the typical person who was born and raised in Beaver County. My aspect has changed. I feel that everyone should get a shot at participating in activities that interest them. I have learned that diversity is all around and we do not always have to acknowledge the differences, but we should always respect others. In my future classroom, I want to welcome each student who comes in no matter what they look like or what they believe. A student should feel like they can come into my classroom and be who they are and proud of it and gain the confidence in that so they can love and appreciate them selves and others around them. In the reality pedagogy talk, Christopher Edmund points out that we should hear our students' voices and build from that. To involve pedagogy in my classroom can help build students up. The course standards do not always determine what students are good or not good at, but creating an environment where they can learn about anything, whether it be something they're interested in academically or non-academic, can help them create their minds into knowing what is important to them. One of my talents is to include everyone. That talent will help me as a future teacher to mute the privileges that are so common in our society. As a teacher, I will do my best to help those around me feel needed in my classroom so that they will want to keep building their best selves. Diversity is all around us, but that's what makes us unique. So we must embrace our differences and respect others to help each other become our best selves. In my classroom, I want to acknowledge that we are all important. And no matter who we are and what we believe, we can do anything we put our minds to.